Today's literary selection is A Germ's Journey, written by author Tom Rook and illustrated by Tony Trimmer. This is Rudy. Rudy feels rotten. He has a cold. Colds are caused by tiny creatures called germs. And right now, millions of germs are living inside Rudy's nose. Many types of germs can make you sick. Examples include bacteria, mold, fungi, and viruses. Colds are usually caused by viruses called rhinoviruses. The cold germs inside Rudy's nose are multiplying. They're running out of room and need a new home. Another nice warm nose would be perfect. The germs tickle Rudy's nose and trigger a sneeze. In real life, germs are very small. They can't be seen without using a microscope, which is a very strong magnifying glass. Rudy forgot to use a tissue. His cold germs fly across the room at more than a hundred miles per hour. So the cold germs fly very fast when you sneeze. A few germs land on Ernie, but skin acts like a suit of armor to protect against arm. The germs won't find a new home there. Healthy skin keeps germs out, but germs can sneak into the body through cuts, scrapes, or cracks in the skin. Most germs enter through a person's mouth or nose. Rudy's germs continue to fall on nearly everything in the room, including Brenda's candy. Brenda can't see the germs and she's hungry. Are the germs going to make her sick? What do you think? Brenda peels off the wrapper and throws it away. The germs on the wrapper wind up in the trash and not in her mouth. Germs that land on floors, desks, and tissue usually dry up quickly and die. But some germs can live on objects for several days. Eve is going to give an apple to her teacher. Apples are supposed to be healthy snacks, but this one might make Eve's teacher sick. Can you think of any reason why this apple may make Eve's teacher sick? There may be germs on it, you think? Wait, Eve's teacher washes her apple before she eats it. The germs roll off and swirl down the drain. Soap kills germs. So do hand sanitizers and antiseptics such as rubbing alcohol. Hand washing is the best way to keep germs from spreading. Some of Rudy's germs land on the classroom computer. When Chip touches the keyboard, the germs stick to his fingers. Chip didn't wash his hands after using the computer. He then touches the doorknob, the pencil sharpener, his homework, he even touches the globe on his teacher's desk. Now France is contaminated with germs. Ooh la la. Here comes Jared to use the computer. He types at the keyboard Chip had just touched. The germs are on the move again. When he touched the keyboard, some of the germs transferred onto his fingers. Jared rubs his eyes. That's not good. He bites his fingernails. That's not good. And now he's picking his nose. That's just gross. Rudy's cold germs are now inside Jared's nose and they start to multiply quickly. So the germs have now found a new host's nose to grow in. Soon the millions of germs will run out of room inside Jared's nose. 
They will spread to Jared's throat and lungs, and Jared will have a terrible cold.